to fall down when I go near the edge. So I'm going to center it like that. And now another important thing, okay, like uh, for, we didn't met that problem before, okay, since when we were doing like the other objects, but in this case, since we're using this one, okay, and we are inside, okay, we're going to have like a problem with the normals. So if you want to check like where is the normals, like that standard in Blender, draw normals and, you know, just give a little value here and we're going to be able to, oops, we're going to be able to see like in which direction my normals are uh, facing. Okay, like in this case you see that the normal is going like in this, oops, is going in this direction, it's outside, okay, which is absolutely normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, all the faces and I'm going to flip the normal. So basically now the normals are facing like inward. And this is exactly what I want, okay, because of course the collision is based, you know, like on the face uh, normal. So uh, by pointing inside, this really will act like walls. Now, <coughs> the final touch is, okay, this is all good, but... I don't, I don't really want to see this, okay? This is basically simple geometry that is used, and I'm going to switch it for triangles just to make sure that all the normals are the good way and they sure look like it. Okay, so I, I, I really don't want to see these one. It's just like boundaries, you know, like invisible boundaries to... Uh, <coughs> invisible boundaries, you know, just to be used as collision. And what I'm going to do in this one is, you know, to uh, kind of speed up things a little, I'm going to uh, push Control and A and apply Object Scale Rotation, okay? So basically, all the transformation of this one it have been uh, resized. If I was using, you know, like something else for the terrain, the terrain is all good, okay? Like I didn't modify anything like for the scale. But another important thing is if you're modifying stuff uh, it's also always good to apply scale and rotation. So by default, it's going to be like faster to like create the matrix and deal, you know, like with its transformation since everything will be reset, you know, like in world, will be set in world space and not uh, object space, you know, relative to the pivot point center of the object. So let's finish my collision map. I select my collision map and <clears throat> I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, uh, let's say actor, okay, and so this is another static triangle mesh, and I'm going to click on ghost, okay. I'm using ghost a little bit differently than Blender, okay. Blender is using ghost for like another purpose, but me, I'm using ghost to uh, f to just make that object, that physical object, in, uh, invisible. So basically, this object will be loaded by the resource manager and all the vertices, physic vertices will be sent, okay, to uh, the physic world with two bullet. But when I'm going to draw at, you know, during, uh, I'm not, when I'm going to render the scene, I will literally like skip this object. So this thing can be also used for other purposes, okay, but basically a ghost object, you will not draw it in uh, real time. So I'm going to go back in scripting and export everything and then I'm going to test my collision map here. Okay, rotate left and as you can see it's like invisible. Okay, I cannot even click on it. Why? Because it hasn't even been rendered. And here I'm going to go and try to get out of my queue get out of my scene and as you can see like now I'm pushing like crazy like down like backward okay and as you can see I'm not able you know like to go up because of uh, the boundary so it's totally invisible but this thing give me like limitations so I'm stuck inside that uh, little terrain here and I cannot go like anywhere else because this thing like block me. Even if it's invisible, you can see like I'm pushing like up left like crazy here, but I'm not going out of the scene because these invisible boundaries are 
like kind of blocking me. So depending on what you want to do, okay, you might want to create like your own customized collision map to speed up things. Okay, so now we're having like a simple ground here. Okay, I don't I don't think it's like no big deal. But if we get if we start having like something that it's like a lot more complex, what I would suggest is you just draw an example that uh, detailed terrain. Okay, and you're using a, a collision map that it's applied on top of the terrain. Okay, that take plus or minus the form of the terrain, and you're using this one. Okay, as the collision map, and let the original one. Okay, just draw as fast as you can. Since, like I was mentioning, bullet, you know, in SIO two is basically the most uh, CPU uh, cost the most uh, CPU time here. So um, that's about it for this one. I just hope it's uh, it have been useful.